Ionic liquids, in one sense, are very simple. They're salt, just like table salt. We've discovered that uh, nature uh, produces ionic liquids. Uh, this is, in fact, as far as we know, uh, the first identification of a naturally occurring ionic liquid. Insects engage in chemical warfare all the time, and in this very interesting and unique situation, uh, the tawny crazy ant and the fire ant uh, engage in chemical warfare with each other. Uh, each has a venom of its own. Uh, it turns out, though, that the mixing, the physical mixing of the two venoms together uh, results in the formation of an ionic liquid, which is a really uh, remarkable uh, class of material and a really remarkable uh, discovery that this, in fact, does occur in nature. Ionic liquids are particularly useful in industrial settings for uh, a host of reasons. Uh, one of them, one of the chief reasons, is due to their lack of, of volatility. Uh, when you put them in a place, they're going to stay in a place un unless you wipe them off or some other, some, uh, other way mechanically remove them. Uh, they're not going to evaporate. Now, that does have implications for uh, uh, environmental concerns because uh, a great deal of the organic compounds, pollutants that are found uh, in the environment, uh, get there by evaporative process. Suppose you were interested in trying to create some sort of uh, microfluidic device let's say a little uh, uh, device on a chip where you relied on hydraulics to perform uh, some of the, the uh, functions of the chip. If you had an ordinary uh, liquid on there, whether it was water or something of that sort, of course the volume is very small. If you developed a leak, and just a tiny crack in that system, it wouldn't take long at all uh, before that liquid had evaporated and completely gone away. Uh, you're not going to face that problem with ionic liquids. Ionic liquids can be used in medicine potentially uh, as improved versions of existing drugs to improve the capacity for uh, proper dosing, for controlled delivery, and even potentially to enhance the prospects of delivering uh, drugs transdermally. It's really truly amazing because uh, when you're dealing with something like an ant, uh, even though you're dealing with uh, a living organism, at the same time, uh, these living organisms are repositories of interesting chemicals. And uh, that's exactly what we have in, in the fire ant venom. Uh, that's th this free-flowing yellow liquid that I'm holding. This is what fire ants use to inflict pain on you <laughs> when you get uh, too up close and personal with them. With this discovery, I think there is a lot more that we will be doing in the area of natural products chemistry as we continue to try to uh, make new discoveries of ionic liquids in nature.